Alrighty, today's story tri craft is we're going to be making a triceratops out of a little piece of a carton. So, if you picked up your dino story time craft pack, inside you will find a little piece of an a crate, some googly googly eyes, pipe cleaner, and a cupcake liner. And some of the other things you'll be needing is glue, um, a marker of some kind, that's how I got the beak, or a pen works really nicely, and some scissors. Alrighty, so we shall begin. So the first thing we're gonna do is work on cutting your pipe cleaner down to three separate sizes. And these are gonna be the horns for your triceratops because triceratops um, means three, well, try means three, so three horns. And they don't have to be exact. You can fine tune them as you want. And then I cut kind of a smaller piece for the nose. But I just liked it a little bit smaller. All righty. So you're gonna decide which way you want it to be the top or the bottom. So I think I'm gonna make this rougher portion the bottom and you just the pipe cleaners have a little metal piece and they poke in real easy so when i did it i kind of lined it up with the ridges and you just poke it in and it just pops right in and you kind of adjust it poke it down until you feel like that's a good horn length so i like that length and then the little piece that goes in I just kind of bent it back, so no glues required there. And then you're gonna repeat it on the other side. It's a little hard for me to hold. <laughs> Slippery. And again, we just pop it in. And I try to make them roughly the same length. And again, I just repeat that. And then for it, to help with the shape, I just kind of curve my horns a little bit, but around my finger, it's the natural shape of my finger. There we go. And if you don't want those horns moving around, you could probably put a little piece of tape under there, okay? And then the next thing is going to be your nose. Well, not the nose, it's the horn. The little, it's another horn. So I actually put that right in the center just seemed like a logical place to put it. And I made this one a little bit shorter because if you ever look at pictures of it, it is a little bit shorter than those top horns. And again, I'm gonna bend it back on the inside just to secure it some. And this one, if you look at pictures of a triceratops, the nose horn is kind of angled up. So I placed my finger on the back to kind of hold it in place and I just bent it up a little bit. You can kind of see it taking shape there. Now, this is styrofoam, so I'll warn you now it takes a little bit for that glue to dry. So if your eyes kind of wander around and stuff, that's why. So I've got googly eyes in your pack. They're on a piece of tape. So you just peel those off. Oops. And um, something I saw, if you don't like having a yellow dinosaur head, you can paint this um, with markers or with regular paints. That might be fun. The eyes I'm gonna put right near the top of the head. Like so. And just a little dab does it. And then plop those little googly eyes on there. The nice thing about Elmer's glue is it usually dries clear. There we go. There we go. Alrighty, and like I said, I know when I was making that one, it slid around. Now this is this one is going to be uh, uh, the shield of the Triceratops. On the back of the Triceratops, they have a little plate that comes up and all along the back of their head. So that's what this is. So we take our little cupcake liner and we're just folding it in half. And it lines up like so. Real easy. 
and it's going to be positioned on the back side here. Okay, so and um, you don't have to glue that folded section. You can leave that just as it is. So next, adjust my eyes. You might want to give them a few seconds to dry. What I did is we're going to trace this in glue, and it might run down inside of there, and that's okay. And just put a little bit of glue going around the edge. And then you press it down, and you only want like the top half of your little guy on there. Let's see how it's only halfway on that eggshell. And I just kind of hold it in place. And again, patience is very key when you're doing crafts. All right, see? Kind of see them taking shape there. And then for the final touch is a little mouth. And Triceratops have beak-shaped mouths, kind of like a bird. So for that, I just put a V wherever I think his mouth might be. So I'm going to put it right there. Kind of looks like a little smiley face. You can make them frowny or draw eyebrows on them, whatever you want. But there we go. And then once it dries, I'll show you on this one, it can kind of fit your fingers in there and you can kind of play with them or put them on a popsicle stick. See what other dragon or dinosaurs you might be able to come up with and make also and stuff. And as always, please share a picture of it. We love seeing what you guys create. All right, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.